Cystic fibrosis is a genetic, life-shortening, multi-organ disease. Primarily, it's in the lungs, which is what CF is sort of known for. Mm -hmm. It also affects the pancreas, uh, and then later in life, it affects things like their liver and their kidneys and, and everything else. It also affects their digestive system. Hi, good <laughs> morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for this is great. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about some stories. So in my work in the healthcare system, I've made digital stories with hundreds of caregivers. And basically a digital story is just a short film that shares some important moments from your life using your own photos and a voiceover that we'll write together. Uh, and once we've made this story, we'll have a chance to share it with your friends and family. I'm excited. This is three generations. So this is my dad's mom, then oh, my sister cool. and I, and then her. Look at that. Look how tiny you are. <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to do like one fun, one medical, one fun. Yeah. That like it doesn't have, if you're going to use three, just drop one of those in two there. Two years of Alina's life. Like there. Was, yes, because you're talking about how you get, had both. balance. So we yeah. need both in there. So do you think this will be surprising to your family? In some ways it will be, yeah. Because of the amount of fundraising and stuff I've always done and my attitude right out the gate. I was always like proactive and like this isn't the end of the world. And not to say that that's how I've ever felt, but I think they've always thought I've rode a lot of highs and there weren't a lot of lows. Hi, Hi. I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Eddie. Sorry. Jenny. Jenny, nice Jenny, to meet you, nice you Jenny. Here. Cool. And are you a friend or family? Uh, well, yeah, I tell myself family, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, nice to meet you, Kelly. Nice to meet you. Great. Great. Cool, so you're, you're uh, the dad. That's what I've been called once. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Yep. <laughs> My name is Mike. Nice to meet you. <laughs> is this is this most most people that are coming? This is everybody. This is everybody. Oh, great! Let's all grab a seat, and we'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're doing here. So we've been hanging out for three days now, I guess. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, and so uh, we've created a little uh, three-minute mini movie um, about her experience as a caregiver, and and then we'll watch it together and have a chance to chat about it afterwards. Here we go, Kimberly's story. She spent her first three weeks in the hospital recovering from surgery, while I focused on educating myself about CF and how to be her caregiver. But when Alina finally came home, I realized that caregiving was only part of the story. I needed to figure out how to be her mother too. For the first few years of Alina's life, it was easy to balance those two roles as caregiver and a mom. I could move back and forth between the roles as I needed. The first day of school, that all changed. The normal checklist to get a child out the door didn't apply. Brushing hair and matching clothing were negotiable. It was treatment that was the non-negotiable. Morning started at 5 a.m. and we would barely make it for 8.45. Those mornings, I was full caregiver and had to sacrifice my desire to just be a mom. At eight years old, Alina seemed like she was doing great, except her lung function was dramatically decreasing. She was admitted to the hospital for a 14-day round of intravenous antibiotics. After a busy first day of tests and procedures, we were sitting on the bed playing Go Fish when she broke down, sobbing. It was a slow, quiet cry, heart-wrenching. Do you have a tummy ache, sweetie? Does anything hurt? Did I hurt your feelings? but she kept saying no. Eventually I asked her, can you just tell me what's wrong? And she said, I am scared to die. I want to grow up and have my own kids. In that moment, I couldn't be a mom or a caregiver. I needed to be both, but I didn't know how. I felt helpless. As a mom, I wanted to tell her to embrace her emotions and move through them. As a caregiver, I wanted to fix the emotional pain and tell her that it would all be okay. But I didn't say anything. We just held each other and cried ourselves to sleep. I still have moments of helplessness, and I need to remind myself that this is the very first time I am caring for a nine-year-old, for a nine-year-old with CF. Each day, I'm getting 99 things right for the one thing that may go wrong. 
She has never spoken of that moment on the hospital bed. As a mom and a caregiver, I'll be there when she's ready. So was there anything that resonated with you guys? What, what resonated with you in the story? I wasn't around from the beginning, but it just absolutely amazes me how she does her job so beautifully and so caring, and it looks so easy. I know Olina's story, but to be able to see it like that and to hear Kim speak the way that she did, it really, it really makes me think, it really makes me, you know, it, it makes me love my daughter a lot, and it really makes me love my wife a lot because she gives so much of herself to make sure that Alina's healthy. It's been uh, such an emotional roller coaster up and down. From when yeah. Well I think that they both have lots of support from their family. <laughs> I'm very sure they have because it would be very hard to get through this all by yourself. I don't know if any of us really had a conversation about like being caregivers. Like, I don't think that was ever really a thing. I think we all just kind of knew that that was like our role. <laughs> um, you just did it. She was so precious that it like it didn't matter, and it was like this is gonna it's gonna take everything of all of us to make sure that she's healthy. I think you guys. I think you're a pretty great group of people, an incredible family, to be able to raise such a cool kid, right? Hey. Don't leave him hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave. She almost left you hanging. Yeah. <laughs> you have to navigate the fine line between like being a mother, but then also being a caregiver and being like a nurse, because they're not the same people.